way, a dramatic change of heart for Chris Cornell. A little more than an hour ago in federal court, Cornell did agree to a plea deal and said, yes, he did plot to attack the U.S. Capitol building and possibly other targets in Washington, D.C. As we've been reporting, federal agents arrested Cornell in January of last year when he bought semi-automatic rifles and hundreds of rounds of ammunition at a local gun shop. Now, a year and a half later, Cornell answered yes, ma'am, repeatedly when federal judge Sandra Beckwith asked if he understood that he was pleading guilty to charges tied to terrorism. Afterward, his attorney and the acting U.S. attorney uh, discussed the proceedings and the fact both sides think a 30-year prison sentence is appropriate. It, this, the sentence, as you know, could have been a life sentence. And we are dealing with a young, impressionable, 22-year-old kid. And I think that was the driving force in, in my discussions with the government. He's a 22-year-old kid, period. This is not something that's limited to the Southern District of Ohio. When you have the volatile events in the world and you have the internet uh, where anyone can be radicalized at any time, this could happen to any person at any time throughout the country. And other word of warning about the dangers, the possible dangers of social media. Again, the recommended sentence per the plea deal is five to 30 years. 30 seems to be where things lie at this point. Uh, sentencing is set for the end of October. A couple of other notes. Cornell uh, acknowledging in court that he had planned to attack, uh, launch an attack during last year's State of the Union address on January 20 of 15. Also, in, uh, about six months ago in January of this year, we learned that Cornell somehow gained access to a computer and posted online a call to Jihad. His attorney calling that a step backwards, uh, saying that he has made steps forward since then. So still some activity in this case as recently as January of this year. Uh, Cornell's father did speak briefly afterwards, uh, the, not on camera, but he did say that Chris does have family and friends who support him. We'll have more on this throughout the day. Reporting live downtown, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.